Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Johnson. And I'm Alexandra Renslow. On this Halloween, kids and parents will see neighbors they know and maybe neighbors they've never met before. Visiting unfamiliar homes raises questions about safety, and Delane Cleveland joins us now with something you might not have thought about, but something that may put your mind at ease. Delane? Yeah, Mike and Alex, the Minnesota Department of Corrections reports that the state has more than 17,000 registered predatory offenders. However, police say that when it comes to Halloween, sex offenders should not be a concern for parents. The sex offenders aren't, uh, we have no statistics on that they're more active on a Halloween night. Um, I would argue that they're actually less active because there's more people out and about um, watching what's going on. Robbinsdale police say they closely monitor all of the sex offenders who live in the area. However, none of Robbinsdale's sex offenders fall into the level three category, which is assigned to offenders who pose the highest risk to the public. People can search a statewide database to find information on level three offenders who live nearby, but police from multiple departments stress that while there are plenty of spooky things on Halloween, they're not aware of any reported issues in recent memory between sex offenders and trick-or-treaters. In fact, police say kids are more at risk of getting hit by a car while trick-or-treating than they are of being a victim of a sex crime. The biggest worry that the police department has is vehicle traffic with pedestrian traffic. Uh, we want to make sure all the kids are, are, are carrying flashlights or glow sticks so that the vehicles can see them and the kids are being safe when they're crossing the streets. That's the biggest concern that we have. And to put parents' minds at ease even more, a national study done in 2009 by researchers from several universities found that sex crimes against children account for only two of every 1,000 Halloween crimes.